But one thing we do get, though, is an election is uh, in front of us. And there's a lot of concern and anxiety uh, around uh, this November's election in terms of making sure that you can conduct yourself in a safe way and to make sure your health is protected and to make sure that we are reaching out uh, to all registered eligible voters and giving them the opportunity and giving them the choice uh, not to feel like they have to go into a concentrated, dense environment where their health may be at risk, but provide an additional asset and additional resources by way of voting by mail. Uh, I signed an executive order uh, about an hour ago uh, that will allow every registered voter in the state of California to receive a mail-in ballot. That mail-in ballot is important, but it's not an exclusive substitute to physical locations. People that otherwise uh, are not familiar with mail-in ballots, uh, are uncomfortable with them, uh, may have disabilities, uh, may have other issues that may preclude that as an appropriate option. We still want to have the appropriate number of physical sites for people to vote as well. We've been working with our extraordinary Secretary of State, Alex Padilla, for many, many months on this. Uh, he has not hesitated since the beginning of this pandemic to make this one of his top priorities. We're also working with legislative uh, leaders that also want to share their voice in this space as well in the executive order uh, to release uh, a framework of getting a mail-in uh, ballot. We also have put in some specific language about the need in the next days and weeks, by the end of this month at the latest, uh, to put together a very detailed plan on physical locations uh, that need to be set up uh, for our ballot this November. And that's why I'm very pleased that we have uh, Alex Padilla on the line, who's been working over time to put all this together uh, to remind everybody of the importance of getting these physical locations up and doing so in very short order. And with that, I want to invite our Secretary of State uh, to share a few words. Alex. Great. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Governor. And uh, let me join the chorus of uh, so many Californians and saying thank you for your tremendous leadership uh, during this pandemic. Uh, the fact that the numbers are as low in California compared to the size of our population is uh, due to uh, the tough decisions you made at the beginning and the cooperation of so many Californians, as you know. Uh, so while you and public health uh, experts are focused on uh, the short-term uh, impacts of COVID-19, uh, we're also focusing on the midterm and longer-term impacts, including the November elections, as you said. So thank you for the executive order uh, that makes California the first state in the nation to respond to COVID-19 by taking this action of sending every voter a ballot in the mail in advance of the November election. I think that's huge. There's no safer physically distancing, healthier way to exercise your right to vote uh, than from the safety and convenience of your own home. And I'll also remind everybody listening here that in California, thanks to the legislature and to you, uh, voters don't have to scramble for stamps anymore. Return postage is prepaid on those vote by mail ballot. So uh, it, it's great for public health. It's great for voting rights. It's going to be great for participation uh, because the, this November's election is still slated to be the most consequential election uh, of our lifetime. Uh, and I appreciate your acknowledgement again is uh, this is not a vote by mail only election. Uh, we remain committed to providing as many safe in-person opportunities to vote as possible, both on and before Election Day. Uh, and on this note, I'll just suggest that uh, elections officials at the state and local level are going to work hard uh, to maintain that. But we're going to need the public's help. Uh, we're going to need voters to verify their registration status, which they can do so easily at voterstatus.sos. .ca.gov, make sure their registration information is up to date and current so we know exactly where to send those vote by mail ballots. Uh, we're asking voters to share a good email address with us so we can continue to communicate with them effectively and safely between now and the election. Anybody who needs to update their registration information or register for the first time can do so at register to vote. Dot ca dot gov. And last but not least, uh, just to, uh, in the interest of our county partners here, 
we need uh, poll workers. A lot of the uh, uh, election day workforce in years past, all the seniors and retirees that have helped us uh, demonstrate our democracy uh, are not available. They're in that uh, vulnerable population that you've spoken uh, so much about over the course of the last couple of months. So uh, we need people who are able and willing and healthy uh, to help us out on Election Day and the early voting time period uh, to sign up. Another opportunity for civic duty and civic participation uh, and uh, community leaders guidance on finding newer, safer locations to use as polling places and vote centers. So uh, a lot of work that remains, but this is a huge first step, sending everybody a ballot, not a vote by mail ballot application, but the actual ballot in advance of the election uh, while we uh, work to maintain the in-person option. So thank you again. Uh, we'll hang on, answer your questions or any other uh, questions you want to send our way.